So I'm sitting in my cabin and I'm wondering what am I going to paint today. I start off doing these tiny little sketches. I then do a slightly larger sketch and look in my sketch pad for some more ideas. I have a fairly good sketch of a devil's head which I will use as reference. But all the other reference is just going to come straight out of my head. I'm coming up with a concept of a Tasmanian devil versus a tiger snake. But having worked a long time with tiger snakes up close drawing these guys and of course working with Tasmanian devils, these are two animals that I know really well. Now back in 2008 I was cleaning out a devil enclosure one day and I found that there was snake scales in the droppings, that these guys had eaten a snake. So some poor snake had snuck into the enclosure and gotten eaten. I had often grabbed snakes and pulled them out of the enclosure. There was no effect on the Tasmanian Devil at all. These guys seem to be pretty impervious to the venom. I think it's because part of their diets would be scorpions and spiders and snakes. Just a natural part of a young devil's diet. And so they've probably got a very high resistance to that type of venom. And so that got me thinking that Tasmanian Devils would probably hunt out snakes. They'd probably seek him out early in the morning. A snake would be really sluggish. It'd be an easy meal for a Tasmanian devil. I'm sure some devils probably do this quite often. So I set about doing this, trying to do it in a fairly tasteful way, trying to not upset the passengers too much. Some people like to see a little bit of action or a little bit of something a bit edgy. And so that's what I'm doing today. Anyway, I'm sort of happy with the outcome and try to hold on to this because I don't want to sell it. Often my works just sell before I get off the boat but you know I really don't want this one to sell quite yet. Maybe frame it and have a look at it, admire it a bit. I quite like it.